another bloody hammer. No, we've, we've already said we've got plenty of hammers. We're not going to get hammered. Ah, evil clown. <laughs> and then the head just flies off. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another First Impressions with me, John from the Killer Bits, and today ooh, we're getting spooky as we enter the Phantom Halls. Yes, this is a little indie game that showed up on Steam Early Access yesterday, I think it was. And normally when I do these kind of first impressions on Early Access games, it's normally ones I, I think, even if they're a little rough around the edges, they still have a lot of potential. This time, it kind of annoys me to do this. This is one of those that just feels like it's the archetypal early access game. I'm not on about, you know, these big kind of open world sandbox survival type games, that kind of archetypal early access game that everyone does. This just is one of those, it feels not so much half-baked as just a little sad. It, you know, it's it's got a nice concept to it, but there's just stuff about it that probably could get fixed in early access but I've got a feeling won't because it just feels a little cheap I mean as I said it's it's I'm, I'm trying not to be too critical about it it just yeah so I mean the idea about behind the game is it's a 2d side scrolling well not so much 2d even 2.5d 3d whatever you want to call side scrolling haunted house almost twin stick shoot all the zombies and bats and critters and everything else you find here in the phantom halls we have got a variety of heroes to actually play with i mean it's it's kind of playing on the idea of your typical kind of genre horror movie so we have our archetypal heroes we've got the nerd we've got the gothic jack jock and the cheerleader and this is one of the reasons I think it's been pushed out when it did. Maybe a little too soon. It's also got Ash in from Evil Dead. This is because it was the 30th anniversary of Evil Dead 2 on the 13th of March. So they've done this as kind of a tie-in. And I think it was just pushed out even, you know, a couple of weeks too soon just to try and tie it in with that. And this is just essentially... A reskin, you get to play with Ash with his boomstick and chainsaw. I mean, all, all these characters have their own kind of mission. And for Ash, we basically have to find Evil Ash. If you've seen Evil Dead 2, you know what we're talking about. But all, all these characters have their own kind of mission. So the nerd wants to kill a whole bunch of bugs. We've got uh, the goth who is going to a prom and she wants bat wings for her dress. Uh, the jock, I think, as a fraternity stunt has to collect a load of um, school schools from skeletons. And we have the cheerleader who is <laughs> off on a mystery date in, in this haunted house with somebody she met on Tinder. Uh, but we, before we get into that, as I said, I have issues with this. It's, it's those, you know, it just doesn't feel... It feels half-baked. It needs, you know, a bit more time in the oven, even before it goes to early access. Stuff like, what the hell's going on with this? Why is the option screen butted right up against the left-hand side of the screen here? And why, every time I turn on, it automatically defaults down to low settings? I mean... We can go very high and apply, and it will actually remember that. And suddenly it was into the middle. It actually remembers that. It remembers the fact that I've put Bloom and FX high every time. But these, I will literally go into the game and it will forget these are toggled. So we can apply that. I'm pretty sure yeah, it's showing there, but as soon as we get into the game, they will all be untoggled. But the really, the thing that really bugs me is the controls. So, as you can probably see, I'm using keyboard and mouse to play this. It does play with gamepad. I think it may be slightly more set up for gamepad. The fact that, you know, it's, it's kind of twin stick. You know, you move with your left stick, you, you aim with your right stick. Uh, but it feels more suited to that because you actually have a 
dedicated button for fire that makes sense, the right trigger. In the, with keyboard and mouse, using weapon is bound to Q. We're, we're, we're aiming our weapon with the, the mouse, but we can't use a mouse button. Look, I mean, we'll, we'll remove that. We're trying... Look, I'm trying to press the mouse button. It doesn't want to. It's, it's annoying. So this is why I have rebound this to space. So we, at least we can, you know, move left and I don't have to kind of do some weird claw hand type thing to actually get the Q button to fire. I can at least use my thumb to hit the space bar. But it's just little things like that that annoy me. I mean, anybody, just some basic play testing before you send it to early access will, will found, you know, no, that doesn't work. Really, please, can we sort this kind of thing out? I mean, it's it's not like it's a um, asset flip type, you know, typical, you know, you, your Jim Sterling best of green light type idea of, you know, some horrible asset flip, cheap, uh, you know, churn something out just to try and mill it for the um, Steam trading cards. Uh, we we'll play the cheerleader. Um, actually, no, we'll play the goth because at least we get a ranged weapon to start off with. That actually gives us a slight advantage. So yes, here we are. This is the game. I mean, it's got a um, an, I won't say unique look about it. It's got got this kind of typical Unity Mo poly poly look. They they kind of pitch it as papercraft. But I, I think it's not so much papercraft as, you know, that kind of low poly th Unity 3D thing we, we've seen a lot of recent. I mean, if it's done well, I really like the look. This, you can't see a lot really because it's a lot, it's quite dark. I mean, obviously it's a haunted house and you expect that. I mean, we do have things like a flashlight, but to actually equip it and have that, it's that doesn't throw out a lot of light. And why the hell, when I'm, you know, looking and moving right, I actually kind of look kind of right and slightly towards the camera so we can actually see the character's face. If I look left, I'm basically pointing at the back wall. What's going on with this? You know, nobody walks like that. Why couldn't you have just kind of flipped the animation slightly? It, it, it doesn't make sense. It, it, it's one of those things that annoy me. It's an early access game, it could potentially be fixed, but it's one of those things I know probably won't. They'll do some bug fixing, they'll add in the additional characters. Even though I think, you know, if you play through this, complete everyone's quest, you should really be able to unlock them. But, so left and right is A and D, as you'd imagine. And as you saw there, we can hit S on, you know, cupboards and stuff like that to actually search them and find stuff. They, it also acts as our, you know, interact key to open doors. Inventory. Well, we've got an SMG. We'll, we'll equip that straight away. We'll burn through all those bullets and then we'll go back to our Beretta. Let's see what's in store. And you'll quickly see... Oh, we've got plenty of ammo. Oh, yeah. We've got plenty of ammo. Now, this it should be a relatively straightforward run. Let's have a look in this cupboard. So, as we can see here, it's saying Q. Oh, even more ammo. Christ, how much is that? 165. Jesus. Okay. It's procedural. Uh, I will say that. It's, this is all procedural. I mean, we've, we've literally gone two rooms and we've found the ladder up to the next floor. But there's, we need to grab these bat wings. So, as you can see here, Q, as I said, is our fire. Like that but I bound it to space so I can actually, you know, move and shoot. We can see this, in this teardrop type of thing, it's all filled in. That is our full health. I mean, that's the only thing outside of actually hovering over the character will indicate what her health is like, but it's not completely clear. I mean, ideally, you could do with some sort of health indicator here in the backpack. So if you've got a health pack, you know, all oh, right, well, we'll equip that. But it's not there. We will search this. So the idea also is the fact um, you can actually kind of 
almost create a squad. If you come across other, um, not so much NPCs, but other of the kind of typical characters which we saw in the loadout screen, they will join your party and fight alongside you. And each one has their trigger button. So obviously she is a Q. Uh, next one in the party will be W. Next one will be E. Um, but at the end of the day, I tend to just... If, you know, it's it, it's one of those... Because it's procedural, there's never a guarantee you'll actually grab one. Inventory is full. Um, well, I want to hold on to the torch just in case we find somebody. I want to hold on to the health. I'll maybe dump the flashlight. And we will... Can we grab the axe? We'll grab the axe, because at least it's a, another melee weapon. Oh, right, okay. Yep, we want all the bats, come on. As I said, I... Oh, of course, now we need to actually have space. Uh, I want to hold on to that, just in case, case we find somebody. So, I will dump... The axe, then. Okay. Well, no. Drop. Back wing. Other back wing. There we go. At least those stack. Now, does that drop? It doesn't seem to be flickering. We'll double check. So, yeah, sometimes the chandeliers will drop on your head and cause a bunch of damage. It's locked. Okay. Well, we've only found two bats on this floor. We have found the exit, but, well, the, the ladder up to the next floor. But I, I reckon we can find at least one, maybe two more bats on the floor. And let's face it, we've got a shit ton of ammo for our pistol, so we should be alright. Uh, are you flickering? No, we're good. Uh, that one is okay. That 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 will drop. Bonies, there we go. See the bony, uh, and we've got more ammo. Jesus. Okay, well, time to use all that lovely ammo. There we go. So now we can see, as you see. We've taken some damage, but there's no clear indicator until we do that. So we're 7 out of 10. The The health packs will give you 5 health, so there's no point doing that yet. And we've found an NPC, so this is actually quite useful. This is a good run, because we can do go over this guy. Have you? He's got a shotgun, but that's not what I'm bothered about. You can carry the torch, so we can actually see what's going on. And I'll give you the that uh you can have that as well actually we'll have the shotgun and the ammo but we're mostly going to use the uh pistol because we have a shit ton of ammo for it 406 something's clearly gone wrong with that isn't is there another bat or is it just the weird shadows no that's not dropping it's locked. Right, okay, we ain't getting out that way. That's alright. Well, we have a second party member with a torch, so we can kind of see what's going on. We have a shit ton of ammo. So this is this is already, you know, it's my run to lose at this point. You know, it's that we should have no problem. We've basically got to find eight more bat wings uh, and we're good to go. As I said, at its heart, I mean, it's not a bad game. It's the developer Incendiums. I think their first game, or uh, as far as I can tell. Um, it's not bad. It, it's just, it just feels a little uninspired. Is there anything in this direction? No, we're fine. We'll do all the searching then. So, look, his inventory is already filled up, so unless it's ammo, you know, or another torch, I'm not really bothered. Oh, Uzi, right, well, we can drop that, we can drop that, and we will pick up the Uzi with a bunch of ammo in it then. There we go. It's locked. 
Okay, well, we're going this way then. So, yeah, I mean, I, I will give give the developers props. It is their first game. It's competent. It actually works, which is much more than you, you see on from some green light, yeah, um, well, not green lights, early access games. But it just feels, you know, pushed out the door a little too soon, even for early access. Jesus, how much ammo have we got? 150, 400. This. I've had runs where I've I've literally had no range weapons drop, and I've, I've you know, and any melee weapons I have, obviously melee weapons actually degrade. You can see over the torch it says hundred percent. Did I take a whole lot of damage? We're down to four. So yeah, now it's time to use the health pack. No, not the ammo. Daft sod. There we go. Health pack. We'll heal ourselves up for 9 out of 10. Uh, we'll load back up. Do we look in that one? Yeah, we know we haven't looked in that one yet. Flare gun ammo, not the greatest. No, we don't want to hammer really. It's all about the hammers as well, Jesus. Okay. So, it works, it's reasonably... Oh. We've got another party member. Come on. This is where I want a mouse button to fire. But it doesn't want to. Right. Have we got any more torches? No. Okay then. Well, you will have... Uh, okay, we'll give you the Uzi. And... That ammo. So we can see here... Uh, if we actually equip it with it. So, really we should be using Q button to fire. So, that. And then obviously on E, the third party member could fire. So that's how it's supposed to work. It just doesn't feel right. That's what annoys me. And as I said, I am prefer the, the character mainly just to be there for the inventory and maybe the torchlight. So we can just use them as human shields. The grubs explode. Oh, another torch. Good. Right. In that case, you're not having a Uzi. You're having a torch. So we can actually see what's going on slightly better. That's not going to drop, is it? No, we're good. Okay. More shotgun ammo. And we found the way up to the next level. Flare gun ammo. I don't even think we've got a flare gun, actually, so it's... An... Yeah, Jesus. What is it with dropping all the ammo on this one? It's locked. Okay. Well, we definitely are going up then. We just need three bats, and then we're done. And who puts a cooker on the third floor? Health pack. Um, well, you can hold. You can hold on to health pack. Eight rounds for the shotgun. Jesus, two hundred twenty for the rifle. The rifle is probably the best gun in the game because it will do like ten damage. I think it is. So it's essentially one shot kill for anything you come across, even the evil dolls and. Uh, fat zombies and things like that. There we go. As I say, the bonies are just annoying. There we go. More bats. So we only need a couple more, don't we? Is that going to drop? No, we're good. So... You picked up what was that? An axe? I think it was an axe, okay. Uh, that one's probably going to drop. No, but that's a crap. Okay. A hammer. All useful, useless crap. Oh, right. 
Well, we've got all 12. Before I pick up the, the bat wing, I want to see if we can actually find a rifle or something, maybe. Inventory full. Well, we don't need, you know, 16 different hammers. So we get rid of all these. The ba baseball ball, that's crap as well. Um, we will reload, though. There's another bat in this door. Or some sort of critter. It's an exploding grub. Spiders dead. More flare gun ammo. Another bloody hammer. No, we've we've already said we've got plenty of hammers. We're not going to get hammered. Ah, evil clown. <laughs> and then the head just flies off. What was that? Shotgun. Okay. As I say. Oh. Almost. 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 More shotguns. Well, we've got plenty of shotguns then for the, the trip back. Okay. Well, time to get out of here, I reckon. We'll get that last bat wing and then everything will get, get super spooky. Basically, they just turn the red light on. And we can bug out of here. There we go. Ooh, it's super spooky. We will have more enemies to contend with, but I I think we have the ammo to take care of it. I've still got 340 bullets for this gun. Oh, go down. And I think it's just all the way to the right now, isn't it? Oh. Yep. Well, I've not come across a gargoyle before. That's a new one. It may may realise we're we're incredibly overpowered. <laughs> we have got a health pack. How? What am I? I'm five of ten. In that case, we will use it. If anybody's going to take damage, it's me because I'm in front. There we go. There we go. Where's the exit? So this is why I said we need additional party members just for the torchlight. And we're gonna make it out. Pretty sure the way down was this way. There we go, yeah. And then I think it's all the way to the left. Possibly, maybe, I can't remember. But you, you get an idea of what the game's like. There we go. That's it. That's as easy as it gets. But it, that was because we got, you know, really lucky uh, with the amount of ammo we got. It is procedural, so it has got that replayability to it. It just feels, as I said, just feels uninspired. Um, there's a nice idea there it's just all those kind of little niggles get to me uh, we, I'll show you Ash as we do all the sign outs because why not, it's Ash so we can obviously we've got our boomstick but if we hit left trigger uh, not, not left trigger, uh, left control we switch to our chainsaw But my guess is we'll probably discover we've not got enough ammo very quickly. Cockroach, yeah. Or in that case, we are going to switch out to that. Oh, and a grub. Okay, well, in that case, we're, we're definitely going to have the ranged weapon. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. We've only got one bullet. Oh no, one of. And the reload. Okay. So torch. Let's see here. An Uzi. Okay. Well, we we will swap to the Uzi now. So yeah, it's it's called Phantom Halls. It's up on Steam Early Access now. If you want to check it out, you can do. Uh, I will leave a link down below, as I always do. But personally, unless you, you've really been looking to play this game and you're a huge Evil Dead fan, because supposedly this is the only way you get the, the, the Ash character is in early access, um, then I, I'd hold off because it's not particularly special. Um, what can we get shot of? Uh, the flag can, can go. Oh, we got more zombies. Of course, we'd get zombies in Ash's game. So yeah, it's a nice idea, just not that great, honestly. It's it's not even one I'd say you know keep an eye out for. It's. There's, there, there was potential here, but it just strikes me as one of those that's it's not going to go anywhere, really. It's a nice first attempt by the developers. Um, but it just doesn't feel particularly special. E even though we, we get to play as Ash. It's locked. We can't go this way. Oh, well. In that case, we will dump that gun and grab up the other Uzi. The one with bullets in it. Yeah, no, that one. Yes, grab. Thank you. Uh, um, fine. 30, yes. So yeah, the, the, the inventory swapping. We could do with... Oh, no, it's the dead one. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, there. Dump you. Grab you. Swap over. Yeah. There's just lots of little niggles that is what lets this down. As I said, it's a nice idea if we could actually, you know, see the characters without having to need NPCs to actually carry torches for us. If we could, you know, actually fire with the fucking mouse. Yeah, it's annoying. I know. It's, it's all little bugbears that, you know, don't sound like much, but when they get piled on one of on top of the other it's it just it's, it's a disappointment more than anything else it's, you're not you're not done badly we're just very disappointed with you that's all yeah it's, it's, it's one of the the harshest insults really you can give I know <laughs> it's just a little disappointing inventory full oh. fine we'll dump the crowbar thank you we'll have the ammo because, yeah, the weapon degradation in this as well. It's it's Breath of the Wild, isn't it? It's, nobody likes weapon degradation. So, yeah, as I said, Phantom Halls out now on Steam Early Access uh, from developer Incendium. If you want to check it out, I will leave a link down below. Oh, perfect fit for my own hand. Come this way. So, yeah, now we've found the trigger. We can basically make our way to the lift and head down. Oh, no, up. Okay, going up this time. Yeah, if you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Hit that like button and let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and if you want to get in touch, comments are a great place. Or you can also get us on any of the social medias over at the Kilobits. Oh, that's quick. We've already found the trigger, but this is going to be a locked door. Yeah, told you. It's always a locked door where the trigger is. So yeah, if, if you want to get in touch, you can get us on any of the socials. Or if you fancy maybe supporting our efforts here on YouTube, why not head over to Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the killer bits. I've been John and I will catch you next time. There we go. Chandelier on the head. We're out here. 
die. Everything dies. Okay. Bye.